Okay, welcome back to uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue earlier. I had just got done making the uh, cauliflower patties and uh, took the pot and slid it over and I guess my the arch of my camera was a little bit closer than I thought, but anyway, it had a detecting overheat. So it shut down. But at any rate, the video was saved, that was good. So I uploaded that. The only thing we didn't get done was taking a taste test. So what I'm going to do now is do the taste test for the cauliflower video, and then we'll get into the chicken cutting video. All right, so hold on. Okay, so we can see that someone's been dipping into our delicious cauliflower patties. Thank you, Miss Penny. However, this one's for Mr. Ed. Put a little patty there. One thing about these, you know, you can eat them cold or you can heat them up. And this here is the homemade horsey sauce by Penny. It's delicious. Okay, Mr. Ed. This here bites for you. Mm, and it is very good, even cold. <laughs> and now this bite will be for me. Mm. So, we found out another good recipe, and I'm sharing with you all. All right, now we're going to get into cutting the chicken up. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Now, this is a, a package of chicken breasts, as you can see. Picked it up from Walmart. The price over here, $1.99 a pound, which is pretty good for our area. The cheapest I've ever gotten was when Save-A-Lot was still around the corner, $0.89 cents a pound. That's when they were getting close to uh, going out of date. But at any rate, this is what I do. Okay, that's what we got. I already did some. I'm gonna do more now. Now, one thing that you guys need to realize, I don't know if some of you do that, but washing off the chicken. Everybody says, some people say, you need to wash your chicken. I don't wash the chicken. Now, what I do do is take a paper towel and I pat it dry, kind of almost. Makes it nice cutting it up and then putting it in the bag. I don't get too gooey that way but anyway I got a bowl over here that has like some tri chicken trimmings from an earlier pack I did and now what I do is I just cut all the undesirable stuff off namely the fat but all this meat I'm not wasting that I put in that bowl that bowl's going back in the freezer not the bowl but the meat and uh, it's going to go into my chicken soup and then when I eat take out of there whatever uh, after we get done cooking it and it breaks down whatever's left that we don't eat give it to the dog but the rest will go in my chicken soup and it makes a good chicken soup okay so you see that even here a little bit of stuff you know if you don't want to eat it just cut it off now you're not wasting it don't throw it away save it for uh, soup and I stuff off the three of these and put them in a bag do this real fast. Uh, now be careful when you cut and make sure your knife is, is sharp. I uh, took this to my little knife sharpener before I started cutting just to make sure. Keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, and then you see here you always get a flap. This is where they, uh, on the underside, that's where they cut out the uh, chicken tender from. That's where the chicken tender usually resides. And they, that's how these guys make a ton of money nowadays with the chicken. They cut it up, they hack it up like this, and then they sell this for whatever, $1.99, dollars 99 $2.99 a pound, depends. Uh, then they'll, uh, like what Sprouts says, they, they, do all their own chicken, which is nice. And then sometimes they'll have the chicken tenders on sale. I got uh, 
think there's three packs of them in the freezer because they're really good. And uh, when they put them on sale, we buy them like that. And right now they're in the freezer. I didn't. I don't do anything with those till I'm ready to use them because they're just a pain to clean. There's a tendon that runs down, and uh, I try to get that out because that's like chewing bubble gum. Okay. But at any rate, back over here, and you'll see they didn't slice this one even. So let's take a little bit. I know, like I said, you guys think I'm wasting, but I'm not. That meat's going into the soup. This here, all this fat. That's what makes the soup taste nice. I just don't like having it when I'm making chicken. <laughs> but anyhow, so you get the gist, okay? That's three. I put three to a quart size zip bag like that. Zip it up, try to squeeze out some of the air. And then it's easier than putting this big ass thing in your freezer. And Penny's pretty good at packing the freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this one and I'll show you what I do when I say I fillet them. Uh, Cause I try to, do, the reason I fillet them so so much is that they cook even, that they, quick, they cook quick too. Um, you can cook them on the grill that way. You just gotta keep an eye on the grill. <laughs> that thing will get away from you sometimes. But this here, And uh, anyhow, so again, just trimming off all the excess junk you don't want to have on a chicken. Now I'll show you, like I said, when they, they cut out the, the bone, the breastbone here, that's why this is a little rough. Plus they, they cut out the, uh, the tenders. Now see some, when a piece comes like this, I just take it like this and I'll do like little medallions kind of, all right? When you do this, you keep it, you tilt the knife downwards a little bit, and that's so you don't cut your, your fingers so much. Um, uh, you notice that the breast is tapered. Okay? So I have to get in three or four nice little things here. Like, that's, that's good enough right there. Now then what I'll do is I'll come back to the main piece of meat. Now see what I'm saying? It's thicker on this end than this end. So you just try to Cut up a little high, tilt your knife down ever so slightly, that way you don't cut down further into the meat and you don't get a nice, like that, okay? Then I'll do it again and hopefully I can get a third one out of that, I mean for a fourth, a third cut to get a, a fourth uh, filet, I don't think that's going to happen, no it's kind of thin, but I'm going to try it anyway to see what happens. And as you can, you can feel the knife running down on the, your fingertips of the palm. See? And uh, that's what I do when I fillet these things. Um, they're easy to do. And that's pretty much it. I don't usually fillet them until I'm using the chicken. That way when I take it out of the package, it all it's already trimmed up like this nice and neat and uh, get most of the garbage off like I said and when these guys are doing this they're, they're really hacking away and I believe I watched the thing one time that there really is guys that go to prison and the prison <laughs> doles out the free help to the chicken farmers so they be cutting all the meat and you know they're being watched so Sometimes you'll get uh, chicken breasts. These aren't too bad. But sometimes you'll get a chicken, a pack of chicken, and it looks like they went through the mill, let alone somebody trying to clean it up. It just looks nasty. They leave a lot of excess fat on there. And you got to remember, you're paying for that, and a lot of people don't eat it. That's like when people get all that big bone in their meat. Um, yeah, they say it adds flavor. I don't care. It adds to the weight, too. And you ain't eating that. Now, see here, they caught a blood vessel. Penny likes me to cut those out, so I just cut a little further into it. There it is. But at any rate, again, just cleaning it up. And that's going to be it for today for the videos. I'll upload this one. 
soon as I get this cleaned up here. All right. Now, just to show you, this here is my frozen chicken from the other trimmings that I do. When it usually gets just about full, uh, that's when I make chicken soup. Man, this thing's like frozen on there. There you go. Okay, and uh, what I'll do, not, I don't worry about it, I just take it and throw it in the bag. And my chicken soup, that'll be another video because it's a combination of uh, the trimmings I have in the freezer for all my veggies, my onions, the skins, the carrots, uh, all that stuff. That makes, I make a vegetable broth first, then I'll strain that out. That takes a while, but then I'll clean it out, and then in goes the chicken, and then I make my chicken soup. Okay, that concludes the uh, chicken hacking up. Um, we have two pieces in this bag. One and two, and then I'll take and mark the bag on these, saying it's sliced already, so I won't take it out of the freezer thinking it's chunked up. The reason I don't fillet them all is because I don't know what I'm going to do that particular day until I do it. All right, be back. Okay, well that concludes our uh, little lesson for today on uh, chopping up the chicken. Uh, hope you learned something. And uh, hope I quit having these issues with the cameras and stuff. But at any rate, I enjoy doing it. So, like always, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, a subscribe, and a notification bell so you know the next time a video is coming out. I appreciate it. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.